So today I want to speak about something I learned from an experience I had a, a number of years ago. Uh, sometimes we can have great vision, but it kind of falters at the first step uh, if we share it incorrectly. So I want to talk about this question. Vision is it about words or pictures. Uh, many years ago, um, I was at a meeting where uh, an organization took its key leaders away to talk about the vision of the organization. Uh, and the, the leader, if you like, the CEO of the organization said, I'm going to share with you the vision of the organization. And he used three words. I'm going to use three different words. Um, go, grow, and goal. Words aren't that important, but what happened at this weekend was we were all there expecting to hear vision and uh, the CEO very, uh, um, in a great way actually, shared about these three words and how they would impact our organisation. And um, he did it really well and the words were different and the words he chose were excellent and it was really well thought through. But the weekend um, didn't quite go, I think, to the plan that he had. It didn't go as smoothly as he hoped. And uh, even I was a little bit frustrated and I wasn't really sure why. And it was only afterwards, only after the weekend, I, I kind of figured out what my issue was and why I felt people were struggling. And that is because he shared vision with simply words. Now, in England, when you go for a um, driving lesson, you're... Three words are hammered into your mind, and the three words are mirror, signal, maneuver. Mirror, signal, maneuver. Uh, the idea being that when you drive, you have to really notice the mirror, uh, make sure you really clearly signal using the indicator, and then maneuver. In fact, it was drummed in you so much that my driving instructor said, when you go for the lesson, you need to emphasize. So I remember in my driving lesson, I looked at the mirror, I a big movement for this indicator and I kind of steered and kind of almost crashed because I wanted to make it so obvious what I was doing. Now imagine that um, you're uh, about to follow somebody's vision and that person turns up at your house and um, they turn up in a car and they move to one side and put you in the driving seat and say, hey, I want you to take us towards this vision. And, and you think, that's great, okay. And then you turn to the leader and say, so where are we going? And the, the leader says, well, mirror, signal, manoeuvre. And you think, oh, yeah, of course, mirror, signal, manoeuvre. You do it all. And then you turn to the leader and say, okay, so where are we going? And the leader says, mirror, signal, manoeuvre. Yeah, I've just done mirror, signal, manoeuvre. But where are we actually going? Mirror, signal, manoeuvre. So the problem with the vision cast I went to those many years ago was that really it wasn't vision. What was said was absolutely excellent. You couldn't fault it, it was great. I think what was frustrating for me and, and maybe the reason it didn't work as well as we'd hoped was that people were expecting to know where to go but were really simply told how to get somewhere. It's kind of frustrating because it's not really vision, it's more about the process to get somewhere, but it doesn't really explain where you're actually going. And a lot of vision casting is like that. We as leaders understand, because we have this kind of idea of where we're going in our head, but what we actually share is process. We don't paint a picture of where we're going. So let me share with you how I would kind of share a similar kind of idea. So I probably would use words like this because the words that were chosen were excellent words, uh, well thought through, but I wouldn't have started with those words. What I would do is I'd kind of like explain more about where we're going. So let me give you a different example. Um, we live in Texas and uh, every year for years when our children were smaller, we would drive all the way to San Diego in California beautiful place, absolutely fantastic, gorgeous place, um, beautiful white sands, the sailing, the surfing, the snorkeling, there's all the things I absolutely love to do and the weather's always perfect, you never really have a bad day in San Diego weather-wise. Um, so I would say to somebody, hey, you know, get in the car and I would say to them, hey, we're going to go on a great journey and that person might turn to me and say, so Paul, where are we going? 
and I would say, hey, we're going to San Diego now. Let me just paint a picture of what San Diego looks like. The white sands, imagine blue skies, imagine uh, palm trees uh, aligning along the streets, imagine the perfect weather, 72 degrees, every single day. Imagine snorkeling and seeing all sorts of beautiful fish. Imagine um, sa uh, sailing with perfect winds in beautiful marinas. Imagine surfing with dolphins. I've surfed with dolphins. Wouldn't you like to surf with dolphins with me? It's fantastic. Now it's going to be a long journey because it's going to take us eight hours before we get out of Texas. So along this journey, you're going to find that actually you feel like we're going nowhere. And then suddenly we're going to get into New Mexico and it's a desert and it's arid and there's nothing really there. And it's, it's not the prettiest place, the, the journey we're going to take at least. And there's bushes and there's thickets and it's prickly. And the journey's going to be a bit prickly for a while. And then at some point we're going to end up in Arizona and it's going to be red, red hot, and the heat's really going to go up. And if you get out of the car, you'll instantly sweat. It's going to be so hot. And then just before we get to San Diego, we're going to hit some mountains. And we're going to go up and down and up and down and up and down. It's going to be a bumpy ride. But at some point, suddenly, we're going to be over that final mountain, and you're going to see California. And oh my goodness, it's absolutely beautiful. Hey, do you want to come and swim with the dolphins with me? Because that's where we're going. So in my mind, that's a better way of sharing vision is to give pictures and physically give pictures if you can. If you can describe what you're doing for me, try not to uh, give process. Try to share vision with pictures. Try and help people imagine where you're actually going. And then you can talk tell them about process. You can talk about go and goal and, and grow and whatever your little statements are to get there. But first of all, explain why. Explain where you're going. Explain why you're going on the journey, what the place actually looks like. It's worked for me when I've shared vision over the years, when I've gone into new nations to share what we do. I don't start with um, our little nuances. I paint the big picture of what we're looking to achieve and what a place um, would be if we came, what, what the environment, how it would change the community if we came and did what we do. So vision, words or pictures, I would say pictures every time. Hopefully that's helpful, comment below. Uh, don't forget to subscribe as well, and also uh, please share as well this video. It helps me and uh, hopefully it'll help other people who hear it. Thanks for listening.